Well, I suppose it was going to happen, seeing as to the film was supposed to release just around a couple weeks ago, and toys and Legos have started to leak. So toss up that spoiler alert, because we now know who the Black Panther is in Wakanda Forever. So of course, going into this film, a couple of candidates have been brought up. Is it M'Baku? Is it going to be Okoye? Because realistically, it could be, but she's getting her own spin-off, so probably not. Or is it going to be Shuri? I mean, that one makes the most amount of sense. I already did my breakdown of why I think it was her because of everything we see and the previous entire plot leak that may or may not be true. I'll have that linked above in case you guys want to see that. It's a complete thorough breakdown of all the leaks, which seem to be more or less confirmed. But the latest confirmation comes from who else but Lego and some early things that have hit the internet in regards to some other action figures. And essentially what we see is... Well, the confirmation is, it's Shuri. Multiple different Lego sets, whether they're black and white and taken off of um, the shadiest of uh, assembly lines, let's put it that way, or grainy photos that have been uncovered from like a back end of a website, they all confirm that she is the one in the suit. Now again, this could just be for the film. I do want to stress that. It could just be that she is Black Panther in this film. And then by the time the film ends, it could be somebody else. I'm going to be inclined to believe she's staying the Black Panther because for one reason or another, she's going to get those powers from experiencing the same journey that T'Challa had to go on to regain his powers. Again, the leak goes all over this, and I'm inclined to believe it now more than ever because there was a description of what her suit would look like. And if you guys remember that, uh, gold like trims and parts of the costume were allegedly rumored and now we see that and then we see like the purple that was described as sort of that energy absorption and everything which again is featured all on the legos and the different sets and leaks so i'm pretty confident that it's all honestly here now the one thing that hasn't leaked yet is of course well black panther from pop funko but Funko seems to have a better lockdown on being able to delay certain figures and things for future releases. Same thing with Hasbro recently, where they used to manufacture the toys right alongside the release of the film. But now they hold the important wait till like a year and a half after till they can not sell as many. Spider-Man, for example, or how we haven't seen anything based on the Illuminati from Multiverse of Madness they're coming in like a year to a year and a half. So they're trying to hold that back. But this is honestly as good of a confirmation as any because Lego always seems to be at the forefront now. And they've been more accurate than not in the last couple years. Ever since Iron Man 3, they've really gotten more accurate, if you will. So yeah, how do you guys feel about Shuri? Because it definitely looks like she's going to be the Panther going forward. So opinions. <laughs>